So as we all know, Thailand is a tourist hub of the world. There's lots to do, lots to vlog. It's an exciting place. But underlying all that, there's a lot of poverty and homelessness and a lot of people struggling in Thailand as well. One evening when I was out and about, I found these two sleeping on the side of the street late at night. I got back to the hotel room and posted their picture and story to you guys on Facebook and YouTube and you responded with a whopping $1,500 contribution. So the next morning, I went back to where I'd seen them sleeping the night before in this little area I met up with Noon. Noon had told me that once she'd formally rented a room in the area which was around 3,000 baht per month. So we all hopped on a bus together and went to take a little look at the room. Along the way, Noon proceeded to show me where she'd been previously sleeping in this abandoned building without a toilet. She'd spent around two weeks sleeping here. And this is not the room, yeah? Yeah, here no room. <laughs> So a little walk further and I was able to ask Noon a little bit about a story. She actually sell rings to tourists. That's why she has rings on her fingers and many bangles and necklaces, though they are not real. We arrived at the place that they formerly rented in to find that the rooms that they previously had actually had gone. And now the only room available was the second floor room, which didn't have beds or furniture inside. So the next job was to sort a bed and a fan and some other bits and pieces for Noon and Sai. Han, but not before we stopped for a little bit of coffee and cake and fruit juice for these guys and had a little chat. Turns out that Sai Han actually is half French, but his dad has been out the picture since before he was born. Noon sells these rings for the tourists and she insisted on giving me this one, which I was very happy to receive. I, I, I give you two, one more. No, no, please, yeah? just one is fine. After finishing up, we made our way to Big C, where we chose a bed that we could carry without having to be delivered and also a fan. Don't forget the bed sheets with the pillows and a cover. We scanned all this up, it came to around 7,000 baht. We also then proceeded to get her a mobile phone. They fell asleep one night on the street and their mobile phone along with Saihan's iPad, his tablet, was stolen and so we now replaced it with an Oppo A7 which was again another 5,000 baht with cover and screen protector. Because Saihan was very attached to his pad and he used it to watch tunes and things and to learn, I got him another pad, it was 3,400 baht. So what was stolen from them in the bag was a phone, ID card, now they have an address, they can reissue the ID card and then the little boy got his tablet stolen and she had a phone stolen so now we've replaced the phone and replace the tablet with a relatively cheap tablet. It's a big deal for these guys. Remember, this could be sold at a future date should they need to. We got all the stuff together, the bed, the fan, the covers, the tablet, the phone, and we set off in a taxi to get it back to the new room. Now we managed to get everything in, even though it wasn't the most comfortable ride possible. We made a quick stop at a phone shop in order to get one year's internet for Noon's phone. The internet is quite important to her so she can contact friends again and maybe get some help in the future. So now she has one year credit on that phone, it's all set up, and she can also connect the tablet to that too. We arrived back at the room, paid the taxi driver, and I had a little chat with the landlady of her place and asked if she could do as a discount if I paid for six months. She settled on 2,800 Thai baht per month. As you can see, the room is quite spacious. It's got a balcony area with a tap and a nice view outside with a toilet and a shower. Nothing fancy, but everything is taken care of. We got to work setting up the room, so setting up the bed and the fan and getting everything sorted and ready. Of course, this is not a forever solution. This is a midterm solution, which is going to give them a space to be during the low season. Noon Sai Han can then start selling their rings and jewelry in the high season again. Thank you, thank you so much. Now I have room, I'm happy. Goodbye. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. So we're heading to the hospital now. Hugo's very sick, he's been sick for a few days. Haven't you, kid? It's okay, we're gonna go, aren't we? So, we have his insurance, but that's for a private hospital, which is very far away. He actually gets treated at a closer hospital here, and so Dama wants to go there. So we will head there first and see what they can do. We think it's bacterial, we're not sure yet. Um, but we're gonna go and... We've got the doctor, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay, coming. Mm. 
So here's the weird thing that the kids at this age, they're covered. They're like, uh, it's free for them in the hospital. And this is quite a big hospital. Like we have the very small hospital in our village, which they don't do much. Then you have this medium one and then you have the private one. The private one's many hours away. So Damo prefers to come here. Uh, we could use our insurance in the private one, but it's about two and a half hours away. She prefers to come to this one and it's free for kids. It's free for kids and the elderly. So for ties, of course. Um, so it's just a weird thing that every month or every year you pay this insurance and uh, actually maybe you never use it. For me of course you would as a Farang. Uh, it's very important to have but for the ties, for the kids and, uh, and the elderly. For Damo I guess it's important because she also uh, wouldn't be covered but then again also it's very cheap many many things here this is very serious it's very cheap so this is kind of an insight into the healthcare in uh, in Thailand So according to Damo, the private insurance comes in useful if he needs to stay, stay the night, so... Zero years old to <laughs> one to twelve, so that treat for free in the, in the government hospital. <laughs> but if you go private hospital, like take two hours to get there. And it's too far away from our house. What do you think, Tis? Cool! We come, we come to hospitals more than we come to cafes, don't we? Yeah. Right, so what did they say? They say he looked fine. Oh, he looked fine. And he's smiling and he active. <laughs> and he not, he not look tired. So the doctor say, Okay, take the medicine first to see if not get better or get worse. Come back again <laughs> on Monday. Yay! <laughs> what are you trying? That's cool, yeah. You always do like that. You shy? shy? No, I'm be shy. You shy, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're glad it's nothing serious. Of course, when you're parents, you get a little bit worried about stuff like this. Nothing serious, is it? Is it good? Nothing serious. Yay! So, uh, coffee, home. It was a mini adventure. So as many of you guys who have been watching the channel for a long time know, we are partners with Surfshark. And if you are looking for a VPN online, please do use my discount code, my link in description, because it's going to save you some money. Surfshark is designed to protect your privacy online, to make sure that you are safe while you're browsing online, to protect you from cyber crime. On top of that, it can also give you access to different Netflix libraries. So if you're bored of your library that you currently use, you can just change up the location in the top corner and you will be shown a whole new set of libraries from whatever country that you've selected. So it's going to increase the amount of content that you have access to. This also goes for BBC iPlayer or Channel 4, many different apps. You may also be aware that depending on which location that you search from, prices can be different. So if you're searching from the UK or the US, prices may be higher than if you're searching from a different country. So you can use Surfshark to change the location again and make sure that the prices that you're getting are the best price. You may be able to save some money on things like flights or different purchases, hotels, just by using Surfshark VPN. Since we started talking about Surfshark, hundreds of people have downloaded it, hundreds of people have used our discount code and the link in the description. They're giving me an exclusive Surfshark discount to give to you, plus three months extra free. Link is in the description and please do let me know how you get on with it. Do leave a comment and let me know how it works out for you. So it's a couple days later and Hugo is feeling great again, fully recovered, and we thought we'd come to this little cafe here that has opened recently and check it out. So we've come for the first time to a cafe, it's not too far from us, about 20 minutes. It's the first time out as a family in the new car. Are we going to have a walk across that bridge over there? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's go. What? Um. 
We're going to that family of elephants, aren't we? Yeah. Go on then. That's cool. Yeah. In, in here, have yeah, put chicken, chicken leg in. Go on. No. A chicken leg, chicken leg. Daddy, did I get it in here? Yeah. Really? Are you sure? So this is the first time baby Hugo has come out with us too. With mummy in the car, everybody's in the car together. There's mummy and Hugo up there, see. How was the first time in the new car? With all, with all the boys? Feel safe. Feel safe, yeah, better than Betty Blue. Like, okay, can take you to anywhere. Yeah, next big trip is Koh Chang. Gonna be the big one. So this I think is like too small for like for us. But when we see them today, it's like perfect. Perfect, yeah, not too small. Pink, pink T-shirt with pink sofa. Yeah, I choose. Grandma chose that for him today. What you got, Tess? Cake. What my eating here? Is this octopus? It was a little one, wasn't it? But it's gone now. Yeah, maybe no, actually a baby. What else have you got in there? What's that there? It's a baby. What's that? Food, What's this here? Yeah. Tess, what is it? What's that? Can I eat it? Is it hot? Where? You look like a house, Daddy. It's a waffle, isn't it? A house. What's your name? So the new carpet here and it looks beautiful. Hi everyone, welcome to the new cafe. So here the garden, this looks so beautiful. Come again? Yeah, because we didn't take a picture of that, that, that apple tree. Right, so you want to come again tomorrow, do you? Yeah. All right then. All right, let's go. Come on, Daddy. Let's go. Come on, Daddy. No, you can go and swim in there, can't you? I do. Yeah, come on then. Jump in. I'm sure. Go on. Are you sure? I'm sure.
No. 